to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. Priya Vaihir Temple. The Priyavaihir Temple is a well-preserved Hindu temple built by the Khmer kings. The Priyavaihir Temple is a sacred Angkorian site on the border between Cambodia and Thailand which is dedicated to the Hindu deity, Shiva. The site is heavily contested, with Thailand having been ordered to withdraw a military presence which has been stationed around the temple since 1954. Priyavaihir Temple is an ancient Khmer temple that was built during the Khmer Empire and is on the top of a 525 meter feet, cliff in the Dangrek Mountains in the Priyavaihir Province, Cambodia. In 1962, after a lengthy dispute between Cambodia and Thailand over ownership, the International Court of Justice ICJ, in The Hague ruled that the temple is in Cambodia. Affording a view for many kilometers across a plain, Prasat Priyavaihir has the most spectacular setting of all the temples built during the 6th century Khmer Empire. As a key edifice of the empire's spiritual life, it was supported and modified by successive kings and so bears elements of several architectural styles. Priyavaihir is unusual among Khmer temples in being constructed along a long north-south axis rather than having the conventional rectangular plan with orientation toward the east. The temple gives its name to Cambodia's Priyavaihir province in which it is now located, as well as the Khao Phra Wuhan National Park, which borders it in Thailand's Sisakhet province though it is no longer accessible from Thailand. On July 7, 2008, Priyavaihir was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The temple was built at the top of Poi Tati, a steep cliff in the Dangrek mountain range which is the natural border between Cambodia and Thailand. The temple is currently listed by Cambodia as being in Spate Krum village, Kentau commune, in Kongsant district of Priyavaihir province of northern Cambodia. The temple is 140 kilometers from Angkor Wat and 418 kilometers from Phnom Penh. The temple was listed by Thailand as being in Bumsral village of Buing Malu subdistrict, now merged with Sothang Chai subdistrict, in Kantharalak district of the Sisakhet province of eastern Thailand. It is 110 kilometers from the Mwing Sisakhet district, the center of Sisakhet province. In 1962 the ICJ ruled that only the temple building belonged to Cambodia, while the direct way to access the temple was from Thailand, but currently, as of at least 2015, the only access is from inside Cambodia. The temple complex runs 800 meters, 2,600 feet, along the north-south axis facing the plains to the north from which it is now cut off by the international border. It consists essentially of a causeway and steps rising up the hill towards the sanctuary, which sits on the clifftop at the southern end of the complex, 120 m or 390 feet above the northern end of the complex, 525 m or 1722 feet above the Cambodian plain and 625 m or 2051 feet above sea level. Although this structure is very different from the temple mountains found at Angkor, it serves the same purpose as a stylized representation of Mount Meru, the home of the gods. 
The approach to the sanctuary is punctuated by five gopras. These are conventionally numbered from the sanctuary outwards, so Gopra 5 is the first to be reached by visitors. Each of the Gopras before the courtyards is reached by a set of steps, and so marks a change in height which increases their impact. The Gopras also block a visitor's view of the next part of the temple until they pass through the gateway, making it impossible to see the complex as a whole from any one point. The fifth Gopra, in the Kokur style, retains traces of the red paint with which it was once decorated, although the tiled roof has now disappeared. The fourth Gopra is later, from the clean slash Bafuan periods, and has on its southern outer pediment, one of the masterpieces of Priyavai here, Freeman, page 162, a depiction of the churning of the sea of milk. The third is the largest and is also flanked by two halls. The sanctuary is reached by two successive courtyards, in the outer of which are two libraries. Prasat Priya Vaihir is the compound of words Prasat, Priya and Vaihir, which mean the religious offering of sacred shrine. In Sanskrit, Prasat means religious offering which could even be taken as synonym of temple in this context, Priya means sacred or beloved, and Vaihir from the Sanskrit word Vihara means abode or shrine, the central structure of the temple. In Khmer, Phnom means mountain, and Cambodians occasionally refer to it as Phnom Priya Vihir. These versions of the name carry significant political and national connotations. Construction of the first temple on the site began in the early 9th century, both then and in the following centuries it was dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva and his manifestations as the mountain gods Sikharasvara and Bhadrasvara. The earliest surviving parts of the temple, however, date from the Kokur period in the early 10th century when the empire's capital was at the city of that name. An inscription found at the temple provides a detailed account of Suryavarman II studying sacred rituals, celebrating religious festivals and making gifts, including white parasols, golden bowls and elephants, to his spiritual advisor, the aged Brahman Divakara Pandita. The Brahman himself took an interest in the temple, according to the inscription, donating to it a golden statue of a dancing Shiva known as Natraja, citation needed, in the wake of the decline of Hinduism in the region the site was converted to use by Buddhists. In modern times, Prasat Priyavai here was rediscovered by the outside world and became subject of an emotional dispute between Thailand and the newly independent Cambodia. The dispute arose from the different maps each party used in national delimitation. In 1904, Siam and the French colonial authorities ruling Cambodia formed a joint commission to demarcate their mutual border to largely follow the watershed line of the Dangrek mountain range, which placed nearly all of Priyavihir Temple on Thailand's side. France, who was the protector of Cambodia at the time, agreed with Siam in Franco-Siamese Boundary Treaty of 1904. The mixed commission was set up in 1905 and it was to carry out delimitation between Siam and Cambodia. In 1907, after survey work, French officers drew up a map to show the border's location. Cambodia used the map published by French geographers in 1907, called Annex I Map, which showed the temple in Cambodian territory. While Thailand used the provisions of the Treaty of 1904, which reads,
the frontier between Siam and Cambodia starts on the left shore of the Great Lake. From the mouth of the river Stone Raluos, it follows the parallel from that point easterly direction until it meets the river Prak Kampong Thayam. Then, turning northwards, it merges with the meridian from that meeting point as far as the Nam Dang Rek mountain chain. From there it follows the watershed between the basins of Nam Sen and the Mekong on the one hand, and the Nam Maung on the other hand, and joins the Nam Padong chain the crest of which it follows eastwards as far as the Mekong. Upstream from that point, the Mekong remains the frontier of the Kingdom of Siam, in accordance with Article 1 of the Treaty of October 3, 1893. This would deem the temple as being located within Thai territory. This would deem the temple as being located within Thai territory. However, the resulting topographic map which was sent to Siamese authorities and used in the 1962 International Court of Justice ICJ, ruling, showed the line deviating slightly from the watershed without explanation in the Priyavihir area, placing all of the temples on the Cambodian side. Following the withdrawal of French troops from Cambodia in 1954, Thai forces occupied the temple to enforce their claim. Cambodia protested and in 1959 asked the ICJ to rule that the temple and the surrounding land lay in Cambodian territory. The case became a volatile political issue in both countries. Diplomatic relations were severed, and threats of force were voiced by both governments. The court proceedings focused not on questions of cultural heritage or on which state was the successor to the Khmer Empire but rather on Siam's supposed long-time acceptance of the 1907 map. Arguing in The Hague for Cambodia was former U.S. Secretary of State Dean Acheson, while Thailand's legal team included a former British Attorney General, Sir Frank Saskis. Cambodia contended the map showing the temple as being on Cambodian soil was the authoritative document. Thailand argued that the map was invalid and that it was not an official document of the Border Commission, and that it clearly violated the Commission's working principle that the border would follow the watershed line, which would place most of the temple in Thailand. If Thailand had not protested the map earlier, the Thai side said it was because Thai authorities had had actual possession of the temple for some period of time, due to the great difficulty of scaling the steep hillside from the Cambodian side, or simply had not understood that the map was wrong. ICJ's Judgment on June 15, 1962, the court ruled 9-3 that the temple belonged to Cambodia and Thailand was obliged to withdraw all stationed troops there, and, by a vote of 7-5, that Thailand must return any antiquities such as sculptures that it had removed from the temple. The Annex I map did not bind both parties, because it was not the work of the mixed commission per the treaty. However, both parties adopted the map and the demarcation line in it therefore had a binding character. In its decision, the court noted that in over the five decades after the map was drawn, the Siamese-slash-Thai authorities had not objected in various international forums to its depiction of the temple's location. Nor did they object when a French colonial official received the Siamese scholar and government figure Prince Danlong at the temple in 1930, possibly before the Thais realized the map was wrong. Under the legal principle Kataset Consentire Videtur Si Loki Debuisit Ac Patuisit, he who is silent is taken to agree, the court ruled that Thailand had accepted and benefited from other parts of the border treaty. With these and other acts, it said, Thailand had accepted the map and therefore Cambodia was the owner of the temple. It was clear from the record, however, that the maps were communicated to the Siamese government as purporting to represent the outcome of the work of delimitation, since there was no reaction on the part of the Siamese authorities, either then or for many years, they must be held to have acquiesced. The maps were moreover communicated to the Siamese members of the mixed commission, who said nothing, to the Siamese Minister of the Interior, 
Prince Danlong, who thanked the French minister in Bangkok for them, and to the Siamese provincial governors, some of whom knew of Priyavai here. If the Siamese authorities accepted the Annex I map without investigation, they could not now plead any error vitiating the reality of their consent. The Siamese government and later the Thai government had raised no query about the Annex I map prior to its negotiations with Cambodia in Bangkok in 1958. But in 1934 to 1935 a survey had established a divergence between the map line and the true line of the watershed, and other maps had been produced showing the temple as being in Thailand. Thailand had nevertheless continued to also use and indeed to publish maps showing Priyavai here as lying in Cambodia. Moreover, in the course of the negotiations for the 1925 and 1937 Franco-Siamese treaties, which confirmed the existing frontiers, and in 1947 in Washington before the Franco-Siamese Conciliation Commission, Thailand was silent. The natural inference was that Thailand had accepted the frontier at Priyavai here as it was drawn on the map, irrespective of its correspondence with the watershed line, 